First, let me uh, congratulate Ayola Diabo, the personal photographer, to the right honorable speaker of the House of the uh, House of Representatives for this seminal photographic biography of his boss. Ayo has proved to be a creative and faithful storyteller of the political journey of the charismatic and photogenic speaker. And as they say, and this has been repeated so often today, a photograph uh, speaks several times, they say better than a thousand words. But the storyteller must not only be skillful, he must also be trustworthy enough to be allowed access to take some of the most intimate shots. And as photographers would say, to make or create the best shots. I had the privilege of a sneak preview of this publication that we're about to present. And without divulging any secrets, I really think that Ayo has done a great job. Thumbs up, Ayo. But I think the job was made easier by the fact that his subject is one of the most resilient, most resourceful, and most successful Nigerian politicians, having won elections five times in the past 18 years. He is an effective bridge builder across tribes, across religion, across political parties, and even generations. And he has proved to be an innovative mediator and an honest broker in several local and national disputes and conflicts. I want to congratulate you also, the right honorable speaker. But Your Excellencies, today is a day of photographs and a day for photographers. And some may know that I am also a collector of rare and interesting photographs especially photographs that may not be found elsewhere, many hitherto unseen photographs, many uh, shots of my friends, especially my friends and colleagues in politics. So this evening, I will uh, share a few of those photographs with you. These photographs are of some of the distinguished personalities here seated, but I must say that it's mere coincidence uh, that these photographs are about one or two of them here. I emphasize that it is mere coincidence. So let us begin with my dear brother, uh, the governor of Lagos State. Uh, here he is uh, saying to some doctors, take my jacket, but if anything happens to me, you are dead. <laughs> and here he is again, feeling the pain of the injection, even before the needle comes anywhere near <laughs> These photographs, these photographs, I'm sure you know, Your Excellency, you were taken by Demola, your great photographer. The next is the governor of my state. Uh, he, he's always in a hurry, trying to cut up with Lagos. He's always trying to cut up with Lagos. Uh, there he is saying, oh yeah, he boy, some old lawyer, let's go after him. If you notice, he didn't get the memo on the door opening challenge. Uh, he's actually opening the door by himself. And you may think that uh, Atiku Babudu of Kedi State is praying here. But if you look carefully, he's actually blowing rice. Yeah. <laughs> and rice, as you know, is serious business. The, the chair of the Governor's Forum, Dr. Kyle Defiani of Ikiti State, is reminding the speaker here, as you can see, after his inauguration, my brother, if you chop alone, you die alone. <laughs> and they seem to be uh, having a good time. And of course, the Senate president announcing that all the money is finished, though. <laughs> and, 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 and as you can see, the president's reaction, when I reported to him what the distinguished Senate president and speaker had been doing behind his back, the president's reaction. 
The right honorable speaker, as you know, is a great guy. He's been an excellent guy. But he doesn't suffer fools gladly. Here is what, here he is wondering what the hell is going on in this country. <laughs> and after many years in politics and politi and politicking, and many betrayals, he has learned to carry his own bike. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, as they say in Lagos, on your call, water, which means there are many entrances to the market. So if this politics thing doesn't work, you can't be jobless with this type of football industry. You can't be jobless. And let me tell you what, anyone who thinks that becoming a speaker is an easy thing, must also learn to scale the fence of the National Assembly. <laughs> you don't mess with the Lagos girl. <laughs> never, never, never mess with the Lagos boy. <laughs> Your Excellencies, I present to you a man for all seasons, the Right Honorable Speaker of the House of Representatives, Oyu Bermi Hakim Dagabiani. It now is my very special pleasure and privilege to unveil this excellent photo book by no less a photographer than uh, the very a very, very well celebrated and great photographer, Ayo Adiago, Bajapi Amela, The Long Road. <laughs> 